Ah, Marcus Conti reporting. <laughs> First story of the new year, right? So um, this is a very interesting story. It's actually an old story. I want to jump in, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take out my wooden arm spoon and stir the controversy on this one. Right? This is a crazy story, right? It's actually an old story, and it um, it <clears throat> it evolves out of New York City, right where I am right now, right? And, uh, couldn't believe it when I saw it. It's an old article by uh, by this campus reform, but I'm going to add a new twist to it because I'm going to call up the uh, school and find out uh, if if in fact any actions were taken on this breaking story at the school, right? So, long story short, uh, the new school was de- redesigning their uh, campus, one of their beautiful buildings on Fifth Avenue and Eleventh Street here in Greenwich Village, and the, the, the good students, or some of the students there, were petitioning for, quote, students demand POC-only space at New York City University. So they, were, they wanted a POC, people of color, space, a separate space where only people of color can go and feel safe, right? I, I guess, is that reasonable? I mean, isn't that segregation? Isn't that the definition of what people in 1964s and 70s and fought and died for was to eliminate segregation and Jim Crow law? And, and uh, right? Remember where they had the signs, black, blacks, no coloreds, coloreds, or coloreds go that way, whites go that way? You remember all that shit? Right? right so now, so now they want to they wanna bring it back in one of the most diverse cities in the world. Right, so let's, you know, New York City, step out the door if you want diversity. Go to fucking go wherever you want, right? Greenwich Village is, it's, it's, it's rather ridiculous that they want to set a, a racially divided safe space inside one of the most diverse pioneering schools, the new school, Parsons New School is like, you know, that's, that's innovation, that's creative, creative innovation par excellence, right? Or at least it was. Now they got this social justice shit going on there, right? So maybe it's not. But let's find out. A coalition of students is demanding that the new school establish a space reserved exclusively for students of color, accusing the overtly white administrators of ignoring their previous appeals, right? Overtly white administration. Wow, those are fighting words. So they passed around this petition. Again, this is an old article. It's from uh, April 4th, 2018. So it's about, it's almost eight months old, seven months old. But we're going to find out if they actually got their, their cause. I'm going to call the school. I got the phone out right here. I'm going to call fucking new school and find out, man. I'm going to talk to those motherfuckers and find out if the kids got their way, right? So what are they, what are they asking for? This, is, this shit is crazy, man. You can't make it up. Students at the new school in New York City are demanding that the administrator set aside a space for people of color to exist without the pressures of white supremacy. Quote, exist without the pressures of white supremacy. Unquote. Wow. Wow, that's incredible. Please support students of color at Eugene Lang for a POC only space on campus. Students of color, quote, students of color at the new school deserve a space and not just a space that exists once a week or whenever our overtly white administration decides they want more diverse favors. We deserve a permanent space, another student said. So the letter is an open letter for students of color only space at the new school. Seems like somebody got their feelings hurt. So that's what this is all about, feelings. My feelings, it's bad news, man. So the letter petition is sponsored by student, the the letter was sponsored by student leaders from SOC Weekly, Anonymous South Asian Collective, La Xente Zena, Queer Collective, and the Black Student Union. According to the petition, administrators at the new school, Eugene Lang College, held a forum Friday to discuss the outcome the coming renovations to Eugene Lang buildings. Right, so they're renovating, right? It's beautiful. It's like a spaceship over there. I right? fucking love that building, right? Uh, on Fifth Avenue and, and uh, 11th Street, right? So they, they got whatever. They got grant money and they're trying to re- renovate the place. And you got these kids stepping in saying they want their own space for just a segregated space within 
the, the, the diversity of the school where blacks only and, and coloreds only can go. That's what, that's what they're petitioning for. This is, this is your higher education at work. <sighs> Which was attended by, so, so the forum was attended by students designated demanding administration to designate space for people of color, a new Lang remodel, as well as make good on their past promise to improve functionality of the social justice hub for organizing purposes. Social justice hub, right? That's a that's like a like a like a, 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 a that's like flash paper for racism, in my view. Addressing Eugene Lang Dean Stephanie Browner, right? So they wrote the letter to the dean. The petition states that we are writing to once again articulate the needs of students of color, claiming that these are conversations that students have previously brought to the table without any serious action from Lang College. We ask that New School take our suggestions into account to either convert currently underutilized space for students of color only, and uh, if not, to construct a student of color only space within the upcoming Lang remodeling. So they want a permanent a permanent space with a fucking sign that says POC people only, right? We ultimately would like to like a dedicated exclusive space for students of color. Whew. That's crazy. That is some really crazy shit right there. Let's see if there's anything more here. Um, the students also complained about the condition of the social justice hub. <laughs> they gave them a closet. A multi a multi room space dedicated to the supporting anti oppression social justice organizations. Who gives a shit? Right? So they got they had the fucking room, right? They already have a room, right? Oh, here's some statistics. In a university that according to latest published data, employs less than five hundred faculty of color in a workplace of over two thousand. So it's roughly twenty five percent is is color. Right? That's not enough for them. They want a 100%. Like the city, like most of the civil service jobs in New York City are 80, 90, 100% black. Right? That's what they want. And enrollments less, over 2,000, and enrollments less than 3,000 students of color, less than 3,000 students of color in a student body of almost 13,000. Right? See, we don't talk about merit. All we talk about is color. Right? That's all they're interested in. Color? Uh, but color, it's and, and because they're white supremacists. That's why. Right? It's not about merit. It's not about people who are more capable of being creative and attending Parsons, the new school. Right? I used to love this school. I'm not so sure anymore. But it's not, it's not so much the school. It's a sign of the times. I bet they got this kind of shit going on at NYU too. Right? So... The statement further alleges that the administration does minimal for its POC students, both financially and socially, complaining that the school has allotted a closet-sized room for our students of color weekly meetings, which usually have attendance of 20 plus. Get back in the closet. That's what you want, right? You want to you want to have a secret meeting. What happens if, like, I mean, you remember Rosa Parks? You remember the the wonderful story of the woman right, who happened to be black and she got on the fucking she got on the bus and, uh, you know, and she and she she was black and and she was supposed to sit in the back where the blacks were. And instead, she sat in the front where the whites were and she refused to move. What happens, you know, and got arrested and beat down or whatever the hell happened to Rosa Parks. Right? What happens if I walk into the POC safe space and sit my white ass down right in the middle of everything? Right. And refuse to get up. Right. Right. You've recreated You've recreated the segregation of the 60s for your own fucking distorted view and, and inability to accept your own skin and your own being, right? You, you've recreated that, that, that chaos that the people of color actually led to, to a large degree, right? There was a lot of, a lot of people fighting for, for uh, against discrimination laws and Jim Crow and 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 uh, right the, the the signs the black water fountains and the white water fountains right so now that's the movement in America right these kids are going to uh, 
These kids, that's what they want again. So let me let me try to call this fucking thing out. This is gonna get clumsy. So let me just let me just dial. I got my phone out. So I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call New School. Let's fucking get these motherfuckers on the phone. God damn it. So we'll call the admissions, right? I ask them if they got the two one two. Two one two 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 nine five one five zero. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's call these fuckers. For admissions and questions about our program, go. press 2. Yeah, for we'll call them. financial services, including questions about financial aid, Admissions. Billing, admissions. I'm a, I'm a student. Please That's why I transfer your I'll be a call. student, right? Thank you for calling the new school admissions No, office. thank you. Please hold for the next available agent. Okay, I will. So there we go, man. Let's go and find out, man. Let's find out about this shit. Oh, boy. Am I on the white line or the black line? The new school doesn't have a space for dedicated to students of color. A space for us to have privacy under the... Er errant white gaze of our school. Ugh, fucking. Oh, so visceral. So visceral. Oh, and thank you for calling admissions at the new school. Hi. Your call may be recorded for quality purposes. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. Come on, get on the phone. Thanks for holding. We hope to be with you shortly. All right. You've been listening to music performed by new school students from our jazz and classical music programs. Oh, wow. Upcoming live performances are listed on our website, and the university community is always welcome to join. Okay. Thank you for continuing to hold. Your call will be answered in the order in which it was received. If you would like to receive a call back when a representative is available... Please press one. No, wait. Okay. I love classical music. How about you? Thank you for calling the New School Admission Office. This is Betty. How may I help you? Hi, Betty. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested. Uh, I'm interested in coming by the uh, New School. Maybe taking a class or two. Come, I don't know. Maybe like next year, or maybe jump. I know it's a little too late for this year, right? It's too late already. To take a class this year for the, for the coming up 2019. Hello. Oh, for fall. Yeah, no, for fall. No, no, no. no, you just still have time to uh, apply for fall. I still have time. Oh, oh, good. All right. Hey, you know what? I have a question, right? Uh, because uh, I I was I don't know I was reading this story. I know you guys renovated the uh, the new building over there on Fifth Avenue. It was a Eugene Lang the the new building? You know, right? You did a reno renovation there. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so I'm I'm curious if you guys ever got that space, you know, the, the, there was those guys, the uh, those those uh, groups, they were they were petitioning for the POC space. Did that ever happen? Do you know if they got their own dedicated space for people of color, POC? I'm really not sure about that. What I can do though is, uh, if you'd like, I could transfer you to a welcome center and then be able to give you the the details when you need. Um, new update. Right. So you go to the school. What are you, an employee there? You're not. You're not familiar with the. Are you an employee or a student? No, I'm an employee. You're an employee, and you don't know if the if the school has a. We have seven different branches under one one umbrella. Right. And I'm not. I don't. Since especially since we've been away for the, the holiday, uh, I'm not sure where the updates stand right now. Well, no, they already built the building. So if it, if the if the thing if the POC space is in there, I'm just curious. You know, I I, I I'm, I'm a people of color, and I don't want to you know I don't want to get my feelings hurt. I, I feel like I need a I need a safe space, and uh, that's all I'm trying to find out. If you have the safe space, I may come to the school. If not, I may find a school that has a safe space. So what do you want to do? You you don't you're not you understand? 
I don't understand what you're saying, but um, I, I apologize that I'm not on top of all those okay. particulars. If you'd like me to transfer you to the Welcome Center, okay. I'd be able to... I know, I, I mean, okay. I, okay, all right, D do that, do that, okay? Transfer me and I'll... Uh, right. thank you. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. One moment, please. I handle that well, right? Respectfully. Original music. Thank you for hanging out with Marcus Conti. Let's see if we get some other info. This is the Welcome Center, I think. I think that's what you said. Welcome Center. Sorry. Ryan Pottle. Is not available. So I'll take this. message at the tone. I did not recognize that as a valid entry. Oh, Sorry. Ryan Pottle. Ryan Pottle. It's not available. Record your message at the tone. All right. So that's that's we could safely say that that shit didn't happen, right? I'll look into it. I mean, I'll look into it some more. But those people, this fucking crazy shit, man. So I, you know what I'm saying? Like you call up and you you know these fucking these kids get building up a, a space. Are we going forward or are we going backward is, is like, I guess the, uh, I guess is the point, right? Are we going forward as a community, as a diverse, you know, community of people, American people, right? And why is this issue even important to people? Why is, why are you so, why social justice warrior? Why don't you have a financial justice warriors, people that, Go after the right enemy, right? Rather than go after each other, go after the right enemy, right? Put on your fucking yellow vest, man. Get your fucking, get your vel yellow vest, get a yellow vest space for people of yellow, the yellow people, right? I just, you know, again, that, that story hit me in the head pretty hard. I'm like, wow, fucking, I mean, I grew up in New York City, you know, and, and Parsons is a, is a wealthy school. It's, it's uh, it, maybe not wealthy, but they have financial aid and, and student loans. But anybody who could engineer themselves into that school admission wise, whether mommy and daddy paid for it or they were able to, you know, finagle the, the financial aid system to get the money to do it and stay there for two, three, four years and end up with a degree, you know, be $200,000 in debt and having a degree that basically qualifies you to do nothing, really. I mean, fucking, you can't, like what I'm doing, you can't, this, you can't fucking teach nobody how to do this shit, right? You fucking, you just take the fucking camera, you put your fucking camera on, you do it, right? <laughs> but they're teaching art and, and that's fair enough. It's like, you know, FIT. But to have diversity and creativity and ingenuity and then have this, this kind, you see that in my view, right, we all know what would happen if that was white people trying to get an all white area, right? Whites only area. We know what that would be. Forget about it. the fucking, the roof of the building would flip off and all the, all the racist organizations and all the all the, uh, the, the the discriminatory agencies would come in and start throwing lawsuits at everybody, right? But when when a bunch of kids stand up and say we want we want people of color only, screw those white supremacists, right? Literally using that terminology, that's fine, that's okay, that's acceptable social justice behavior in a a, a university in America. That's where we're at today. Something definitely to think about. My name is Marcus Conti reporting. Peace.